One of my favorite things is the lead up to the release of something that I'm really excited about. Whether that be a video game, or my favorite manga getting adapted into an anime, or in this case, a movie that I've been keeping a close eye on for the past few years. And when that moment finally arrives, it almost feels like you're in a weird dream or something. Like, all of a sudden, here you are. And all that anticipation is led up to what you're hoping could be another life-changing experience. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, it was pretty good. Wait, did I not like this movie? <sighs> Don't get me wrong. I think that movie is great, but for some reason, I just didn't walk away from it feeling the way I'd hoped. And it kind of bothered me for a little while. Like, maybe there was something wrong with me. Like, announce at E3 or something. And I get so hyped that I kind of hype myself out of it once the game actually comes out. Hmm? I don't know if there's an actual term for it. I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna coin a term now. Okay. I, have, I get hype fatigue. Right. Oh. So, yeah, that sounds about right. When I see that you ever have one of those experiences with like a movie or an album or something that kind of just changes you for the rest of your life? Well, the most prominent ones of those for me have been with anime movies. And I think that's why at this point I particularly love going to see anime movies at the cinema. Eren Yeager. Eren Yeager. All right, some movies just aren't that serious, my dude. But anyways, that feeling of going to see what could be your next favorite movie, combined with being in an audience who's just as excited to see this thing as you are, is pretty hype. Like, could you imagine being at the midnight premiere of something like Star Wars Episode One? I always thought that would have been one of the greatest experiences you could ever have in a cinema. It kind of bums me out. Because growing up, I remember a lot of people talking a lot of shit about that movie. I mean, I was like three when The Phantom Menace came out, so you know, I thought it was pretty dope. I don't really see what their problem was. But, uh, I didn't have to wait 16 years for that movie to come out. I don't think they were just hype fatigued. These motherfuckers were hype exhausted. A lot can happen in 16 years. When they first saw the original trilogy, they wouldn't have had any expectations. But now all that time has passed, they would have decided for themselves what a good Star Wars movie was supposed to be. Kind of like how when you first start watching anime, your sense of what you like and dislike is really loose. So you kind of just think everything is good. It's like you have this soft, malleable fall. But over time, as you watch more shows, that ball starts to become more and more firm as you kind of figure out what it is you're actually looking for in an anime. Until eventually, your ball becomes nice and polished, and then, ta-da, you've ended up with your own personal taste. Or in some cases, people end up with trash taste. Sorry, that was a really stupid joke. <clears throat> Maybe that's my problem, though. Maybe my taste has just become a bit too rigid. I kind of already know what my favorite anime movies are, right? So maybe I'm just at a point where I found all my favorite things. So anything new just bounces right off of me. Damn. It's kind of sad to think about. I really wanted to love this movie. Maybe I've just become bored. Man, I've never mentioned it before, but 
This place really is beautiful. You know, it probably didn't help that I set the stakes really high on this movie for myself. My experience with those other anime movies I mentioned was probably so memorable because at the time of watching them, I really needed something like that. It's not like a movie just came along and changed my life forever. When I look back on it, my life was changing anyways. And those movies were just the things that helped me through it. But I'm gonna save that story for another time. And don't get me wrong, some things are just crappy, but just because some movies or anime or albums or whatever really can be life-defining doesn't mean that every movie has to be. And just because it's not doesn't mean it's bad. Having some life-changing epiphany every time you watch something would be exhausting, and not to mention unhealthy. <laughs> Maybe once every few months is fine. <laughs> Sometimes things are just pretty good for what they are, and it's nice to appreciate them just for being that. It's a nice day, you know? Might just enjoy this view for a little while.